Hello everyone, welcome back to more Final Fantasy 32 and today we're going through a gate. I've chosen this gate instead of the one um, closer to the Brescia ruins. Not for any purpose, I just thought since we had the choice, you know, why not just go through this one, no real reason. So let's see what happens. Okay, that did it. Sarah, don't tell me you're having visions. Oh, no, just staring into space. Hmm. Oh, okay then, let's get going. Okay. So Sarah starts seeing visions when she touches the gates. Interesting. We unraveled the paradox and continued on to another time, another place. But why had these gates appeared? Who had tangled the timelines and for what purpose? We still didn't know. Why am I able to fix these temporal anomalies? Bend monsters to my will? Why do I have this power at all? I'll keep traveling with Noel, knowing that we'll find you eventually. So Lightning, if you're watching, do what you can to guide us to your side. And we're in the Historia Crux again. Place where, Lightning is waiting. where do you think we'll end up this time? The future? The past? I have no idea. With all this jumping back and forth, I'm not sure I know which is which anymore. <laughs> but the past is what makes us who we are. It defines us as people. The future that we're aiming for, that's the thing we can change. No matter how bad things have been, without that past, I wouldn't be who I am now. That makes sense. So Sarah, you shouldn't feel like you're wasting your time. Even if we don't arrive in Valhalla, there's still value in every path we take. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but hey, I won't complain if we do end up there. All this running around is exhausting. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. If you are, you'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that cutscene, you know, just a sort of normal banter between two people. I kind of like cutscenes like that. Sarah, forgive me. That was a past you never should have had to deal with. But now, because of your courage, the timelines have one less knot to unravel. If I could, I would thank you for what you have accomplished. But I can't. Not just yet. And we're back in the Historia Crux, and we've unlocked a new location, the Sunlit Waterscape. If you remember, that's where, uh, uh who was it, Vanille and Saz, um, went when they were in the um, first game, running around in some sort of jungle area. It's the same place. Well, uh, this will be the next location I go to, I just saved there, so I skipped that. transform the world of man. Nature tirelessly weaves her tapestry. The sunlit waterscape survives amidst the decaying cities of Cocoon. This was once a protected wilderness zone, and even without the Falsy overseers, the landscape flourishes. Yet amidst the teeming growth, the seeds of destruction are being quietly sown. So yeah, each area has its own sort of intro, which is interesting. And you can move the wording up and down if you want to read again or something. But we head into the sunlit waterscape. The, knife. the joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. 
Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Part two. Humanity's um, great frailty. Hmm. We prefer okay. past happiness to future uncertainty. So this is what the end of the world looks like. Huh? Really? Plans? going to destroy the planet? <laughs> I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. I don't really get this cutscene. There must be a way to stop them. I'm not even sure if you... This is part 2 of episode 3. What is it? But I'm not What's even wrong? sure if you went to and did part 1 first. That this um, cutscene makes much sense. But I think they're basically talking about Sarah, Cocoon Sarah. and Cocoon falling basically. Is that um... Is that snow? He looks Wait. different. Sarah, what's wrong? What did she see? So Sarah's what still seeing mean? things? Does Sarah have the same power as you? Whoa, interesting. Well, since we have some time, let's uh, wander around and see what's, what we can do here. If we can do anything else. Well, does it look like we can go through this way? Or that way? This is the gate we came through, I guess? Okay, let's follow Sarah. But why? Why did she react the way she did? Okay, not sure where we're supposed to go. Okay, this looks like we have the objective marker ahead. Wow, that is one gigantic monster. Really? Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's big. Mm, that sounds like snow. I don't think so. Fine, we'll do it together. Yeah, I don't expect no to back down. Okay, this is a pretty pretty decent fight here, de decent boss fight here. I'm not gonna show you the whole fight in this first this first try. Uh, because I failed and it takes me about 20 minutes to fail. And uh, so I'll just show you the beginning here and I'll show you how I fail. So this is near the end of my first try. I guess the royal rightness. Look at him. He's healing so quickly and uh, you see after he loses about half his life he hates himself and that really hurts. Plus he has a um, wounding attack which um, you can see my life bar is really really low now. I think I've ran out of wound potions and whatnot. You have to remember I didn't um, level up after defeating Atlas so I still had uh, quite a few levels and uh, I don't really die here but uh, I sort of, I give up about, I basically give up here, you know I had his life down really really low but then he, you know, he heals quickly, when he hates himself that's really hard, especially when my damage isn't that high. Yeah, you can see my life, look how low it is. So I'm almost dead anyway and uh, before before we actually die and have to see a game over cutscene, let's just retry. 
So when you retry, Sarah's back with you, so that's cool. And as you can see, I have quite a few CP to use, so let's level up. Now I think I find a way, found a way to make this quicker. I'm gonna fast forward through leveling up, so that hopefully you can still see what I get. But um, it it'll be faster. So I get I got launched there, for Commando for no, and a few other things. And here I expand my Crystarium, so I'll just show you what I picked, which is I believe I increased the. ATB gauge just because you know 3 is a bit limiting now for no I actually wanted to unlock medic because um, when I was fighting the boss just now I kind of realized that having medic would have been really really useful especially two medics since I already have a medic monster so I was really debating whether to give medic to no but his magic is pretty low so hopefully Sarah will have a medic um, role class as well that I can start But I will have to wait until we get to her. So now we're on Sarah again. Uh, I'm just fast forwarding through the level up screen. And you can hopefully still see what I um, obtain. And here I expand the Crystarium again. And thankfully we have Medic here. So I'm going to be taking that. And let's level it up a bit. Yeah, but that's all we have. At least we have medic. I also upgrade some monsters here. So again, that will be fast forwarding as well through it. So my main monsters are still the Kaesid, Uridimu, my Commando, and the Bizwork Scandroid, my Ravager. And uh, even your monsters can upgrade uh, once their Crystalium has expanded. So let's some um, learn some Rav bonus boost for my Zwerg. I think that's better. I think. Yeah, and your when you upgrade your monster, the materials that you need also upgrade. So you need better materials to upgrade further. But I think that's all for upgrading. I also said about my um, paradigms, of course. But I think I actually... Yeah, I forgot about it and had to redo it. Re-enter the screen. Thankfully, I remembered before actually getting into battle. So again, I'll skip this and just show you what I end up with. So this is my basically what I end up with. That I'm going to use for this fight now properly. Some good uh, medic rules hopefully will help. And let's uh, return to our default outfits. You know, just a change here and there. And let's take on the Royal Ripeness one more time. At least you don't have the cutscene again. So this will be the full battle. Although, I guess it's not the best. It's not all that effective, I guess, my battle strategy. But this boss fight was hella fun, I tell you. After going 20 minutes with, with him the first time, I was so eager to kill him. His normal attacks don't really do much damage, so you don't really need to go into Sentinel for it. I guess that may be because I've leveled up as well, so that needs to be considered. And here I want to raise the stagger meter up more before I go all out commando. Sort of like 2500 or something. 
this attack is annoying so. because it can poison you and uh, it deals decent damage yeah my god that was too late really unfortunately his stagger meter is almost out which was kind of a waste probably should have dealt more damage I don't know what to say about the uh, song song choice. Doesn't sound the best, really. And uh, yeah, in this battle, I'm using Noel for now as my leader. Which is why I was doing my own sentinel just now. And as you can see, it's kind of pointless to use sentinel because his um his belch attack sort of takes off your any buffs that you have. So let's try to attack him properly this time. With some feral links. You can see he's healing himself, really, which is part of the reason why he's he was hard. And we all get protect because of. Accomplishing that um, cinematic action, but again, like I said, once this guy hits that um, belch attack, it it goes away. So not all that useful to have a synergist. If you can time it right, I guess. Um, you know, just after his belch attack, you may be able to do, maybe able to utilize a uh, the um, protect spell. So, for instance, like that attack, you know, having protect on was decent. Again, this time I want to raise the stagger bar. Oh, he's gonna belch again. It's probably hard to, you know, express to you guys how, how much I enjoyed this fight, but uh, it was really fun. Because there's a lot going on at, at one time and, uh, and all his attacks are sort of our new area of effect attacks, they attack the whole party. As well, so that's always something you have to keep in mind. Which is why having like a two medics was always uh, more useful. It would have been nice to have Cura, which um, heals everyone, but um, we don't have that yet. So we've got the guy down to I think uh, less than half his health, or around there. So yeah, this does become a long battle, and I don't think I get that many stars for it. Probably I don't get any, actually, so there probably is a more efficient way of facing him. Probably doing more damage when he's staggered is something to keep in mind, because that's what I end up doing anyway.
Yeah, this is the attack where he hastes himself. And the problem with that isn't really that he's quicker, it's that um his um regeneration is quicker. Or is it revitalize? Yeah, so he regains health pretty quickly. Which is annoying. Also during this time I think he starts hitting you with um wound attacks, so that's something to keep in mind. So you wanna really kill him quickly once you reach this level. Because he will he'll do damage. Again another late guard attempt. Let's multicast and hope we stagger him. Sweet staggered. That was actually a quick stagger, you know, it was like less than 250 and we got to 300. Cool, cool. So hopefully we can get him within this time. Within this stagger. We've got 500, so let's go all commando. You can see my his wound attacks have taken me almost less than half of my maximum HP. But we're almost killing him, and we did it! Sweet! That was a very fun boss fight, man. It was pretty awesome. With the first, first fight of 20 minutes as well was really, really cool. Even if, you know, I was probably not being efficient. But we have our cinematic action here. Let's enjoy our, well, victory, I guess. And we did it! Sweet! Okay, so folks, that's it for the end of this episode. I'm not gonna show more because it's already a pretty long episode. But, um, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, see you next time. I didn't get any stars. Oh well.